All right, there it is, the latest acquisition at the sale. Uh, JC always said, if you need parts, just go buy another whatever it is, and you'll have a whole, all the parts you'll ever need. So I've got three of these tractors now. Most of them are which in parts. Uh, I needed a set of tires and rims for the back and uh, don't know this one may actually run. The uh, Magneto don't have any spark and the gas tanks full of rust so but it does turn over and we got uh, it's got clean oil in it so we're gonna try it. Uh, all right I'll bring you back. All right uh, it's the next night here. I got this little Alice Chalmers B up in the shop. Uh, we picked it up at the sale. Uh, bought it to sale Tuesday night. Uh, I didn't give very much for this thing. Uh, I did buy it because it had good rubber and good rims, both front and back. All four tires hold air. It's got a good carburetor. It's got a uh, GM alternator, but that's neither here nor there. I got a generator, I think, for it. Uh, this is the one I've been working on. Well, two of them. One of them's the, the C that I got off of. Uh, we took off the truck. We bought it to sale about a year ago. Uh, the primered parts are off a of B that I've had in the building for a few years. Now the primer parts, uh, the transmission, final drives, and the brakes, I've all been through that. They've got new bearings, new seals, new everything. Uh, that tractor, this is the bell housing for it, it did not have electric start. So, I bought the C, the C, is uh it had a bunch of good parts on it it had uh the pto unit with it and the hydraulic pump so i do have that off the c uh, i learned one thing though too uh this steering box and the one for the wide front end is different this is a steering box off the C, which has had a narrow front end. So I needed another f steering box, which will probably come off that tractor there. Um, the engine for the C is sitting over there. It had some issues with... Uh, hold on here. I'm going to see if that will clear up. That's a little better. Uh, the C is cracked between the cylinder webs. Now, I'm not sure that's a problem, but this crankshaft for this engine and the crankshaft for the original B uh, needed machine work. So, either way, I was putting money into that, putting money into an overhaul kit because both those engines were froze solid and rusted pitted bad internally so this block could be used but it still needed a crankshaft this engine is complete it may run here uh we tried messing with it last night i started messing with it tonight and uh well last night we couldn't get any spark out of it but uh here i'll set you up here and show you what we got I don't know if you can see that. But right there. We got fire. So, uh, yeah, this is the. Trying to remember one of these, one of these uh, distributors, the bushing was out of it. 
Yeah, it's this one. So anyhow, I'm going to put the good parts together here. And we're going to put some gas in this thing and see if we can get it to fire up. So hold on, I'll bring you back. All right, it's uh, it's the 20th of June. Uh, it's been raining about every day for the past two weeks. Uh, I did get my corn planted, what I could around the wet spots. Uh, yeah, and actually the last I planted up, and the beans and some of the first corn I planted are in serious need of spraying, but you couldn't dare get in the field now. It's nothing but soup. So we've kind of been playing around in the shop. Got this bee back in here. I think the last video I showed, uh, we got the magneto firing. I got the magneto timed properly. Uh, we took it out. We pulled it up the road with the Oliver and we got it to running. And it took off, went to full RPM. Couldn't figure out why. Uh, so we brought it back in the shop, tore the carburetor apart and rebuilt it. Well, cleaned it out and put a gasket on it and stuff. Uh, was the other, was the other, one of the other carburetors I had and, uh, reassembled it, tried it again. I did, I did put the starter in it and we got this hooked up to the truck battery. Uh, fired it off. Took off, run wide open again. So, uh, we got to thinking there's something, something wrong with the governor. So I pulled the governor apart. Yeah, the governor's wore out, but there's nothing there. It should have been working properly. Uh, it was oiling and stuff like that. There was oil coming down this, this little line, and it does build oil pressure a little bit. Uh really confusing and i didn't know what what the problem was just kept it it had just go wide open whatever 3000 rpm which these little engines were only supposed to run at about 1600 uh just kind of got annoying i come in here and that carburetor looked just like this one and uh well it should be all right There's nothing wrong with that and i think that one was off a of wc and these are this is a zenith carburetor doesn't say it the other one says it on the bowl there uh this is a marble shibbler and this was off the original b we noticed this throttle shaft stuck up. This one stuck down. The original one out of the carburetor stuck down. So I pulled the one, the shaft out of this, this carburetor, and it sticks up. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it in there this is the throttle shaft here and it sticks up so there was my problem somebody had the wrong it's a wrong it's the wrong carburetor for it but uh it's a zenith it's the proper model it was just had the wrong shaft in it so we fixed that uh put the governor back together and uh What else do we do? We put the muffler on it because it was annoyingly loud. Uh, we actually put water in the radiator. But uh, let's give her a shot and see what she does. There it is! I don't know. 
I got the smell of vision turned off, but uh, there's a faint smell of oil in there, so it does burn a little oil. It does have a little bit of oil pressure at night. Just barely, but uh, I bought a new set of plug plugs for it. Original cap, original rotor, original points. Like I say there's water in the radiator. Heck that. Uh, but the other thing we got now is the clutch is stuck so we'll have to figure out what's wrong with that but uh, anyhow I got the motor running it runs pretty nice and smooth I think we were sucking in air here or something carburetor the chokes open but uh, yeah this is just a toy we've been been uh, fighting rain here every night for two weeks. Uh-oh. They're calling for rain again tonight, so. Just something we've been doing, playing in the shop. It uh, runs pretty good for a $250 tractor. Old Mr. Farm Junk 101, he'll be proud because he, I think he's got a, I think he's got a restored Alice Chalmers B. And, uh, this one's far from restored, but maybe that one will be someday, so. Alright, thanks for watching. Well, it's still running, but, uh, that noise I heard. It either fouled out number one or I got an issue in the distributor. And now I got a new issue. I think the rear main seal's out of it. So, uh, oh well. We're going to have to tear it down anyhow. Like I say, this engine's probably going in that track now. And, uh, I just wanted to make sure it would run before we tore it all apart. The clutch is stuck. So. Anyhow, thanks for watching.